I was just a kid when I first saw Earl Flynn in the movie Captain Blood, fighting his way from slavery into a swashbuckling life of piracy. I was so intrigued by the pirate's freedom from tyranny and authority that I start carving skull and crossbones into my ruler and onto my notebooks at school. Well, needless to say, the nuns didn't like that very much, and they beat me with that ruler. Well, years later, I really had the opportunity to indulge in my passion for pirates, and I bought my first real pirate artifact, a 300-year-old first edition book called Buccaneers of America by Alexander Escomelin. I opened that baby up and I dove inside, and I was hooked. Sometimes people ask me if I'm a pirate, and I say yes, but 300 years too late. Over the past 30 years, I've studied the lives of pirates. I've gone on international maritime adventures to recover their booty. And I've collected more than 500 of their rare scattered relics. You can see them all at my St. Augustine Pirate and Treasure Museum in St. Augustine, Florida. Like the world's only pirate treasure chest and one of only two Jolly Roger flags in existence. And I'm still collecting. Researching and writing about pirates is in my bones. That's the bloody reason why I wrote the Pirate Handbook, with the true-to-life secrets of how to be a pirate and live to tell the tale. You pick this baby up, and you'll be ready to cut some throats. You can call it the ultimate gangway to a life of danger, intrigue, daring, and fortune. Me, I call it a lifestyle, and I'm living it. The question is, will you?